I recently read an article that described math to be the language of logic. So how are we promoting this logical thinking from our young children? Stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, I'm Miss Emily from the Learn and Play Montessori School. I am an early years teacher as well as a psychology enthusiast. And just like you, I enjoy learning new ways that can help make teaching young children fun and effective. Whether you realize it or not, math is around us all day, every day. From the time you set your alarm to wake up, to how many pieces of toast you have in the morning, how long it takes you to get to the bus or get to work, we are constantly thinking about mathematical quantities. This highlights just how important it is for young children to have a concrete understanding of the fundamental mathematical concepts. And of course, we may just think of math being counting from 1 to 10, 1 to 100, but of course it is so much more than that. Just counting from 1 to 10 does not mean that your child has a complete understanding of quantities and how a quantity can change. So there are some things that we can help them with to help them along this way of understanding the concept of numbers. Number word plays and number songs are a first great way of introducing your child to numbers and road counting. Songs such as one, two, three, four, five, once I caught a fish alive. They're great for helping your child to understand number order and number sequencing. Once a child has started to understand the concept of number sequencing and can rote count from one to 10, it's also great to start counting backwards from 10 to one. The next step on from this is to start understanding a number paired to a quantity. How much really is one? And how many really are five? To do this, it's a great idea to involve practical items in your child's life. Most children love dinosaurs, so that's a great starting point. Collect your dinosaurs and start counting, naming one dinosaur, add another dinosaur two dinosaurs, add another dinosaur, three dinosaurs. It's also a great idea to pair hand gestures with your numbers, along with the written formation of the number. This helps your child to pair the number, the written form and the visual cue together to get a more complete understanding of the number and what it means or what it represents. One-to-one -one correspondence is the next step to really encouraging an understanding of the concept of numbers. And this is where your child can use their own finger or a pointer and count out sets of numbers. As they are counting, they are naming the number and they are visually seeing that the number is increasing and so are the amount of objects. As you are adding your dinosaurs and counting up to 10, the number and the quantity of dinosaurs is increasing. Now math is not just all about numbers. A large portion of math and understanding math concepts is also mathematical language. Things like directional words, first, last, in between, in the middle, and of course descriptive language same and different, more and less. All of this vocabulary should be used during your child's day so that your child can start to understand the language. So when you have your dinosaurs out and you have counted out five dinosaurs, let's count out another set of dinosaurs. But this time, let's count out 10 dinosaurs. Have a look at the two groups of dinosaurs. Which group has more? You can then start identifying which numbers are bigger and which numbers are smaller. 
These visual representations really help children to understand the concept. So here are a few ways that you can make sure you are instilling some logical, mathematical thinking into your child's day every day. Start off with buying a calendar. Such a simple idea, but it's filled with numbers. How many days are in the week? How many months are in a year? And of course, you can also start looking at the dates. Look at the calendar every morning. Cross off the dates. You can also have a countdown so that you're practicing counting down from a particular number, perhaps to a special event like a birthday. Start looking at the clock and the numbers on the clock. If you have to leave the house at a certain time to make it to school every day, let your child know what time this is. It's never too early to start giving your child an awareness of time. Start counting in the kitchen. At meal times, breakfast, lunch, or dinner, get your child involved. Let them help you count out your different ingredients. What's more, before this, you could even create the shopping list together. How many apples do you need? How many bananas do you need? Are we buying more apples or more bananas? It's great to include this vocabulary and counting in your everyday activities. And start identifying shapes and numbers while you are out the house. Look at the different numbers on the house along a street or the different shapes that a house may be made up of. It's great for spatial awareness and an understanding of shapes as well as quantities and they can relate this to their everyday life. Last of all, don't forget the positive encouragement. Math and learning in general should be fun. So when your child is counting, road counting, identifying shapes, colors, sizes, and comparing different groups of things together, recognize their achievements and support them along the way. If they do make some mistakes, just help them to identify their mistakes and try to rectify them. This way, your child's going to be more encouraged to use the concepts they understand, as well as build on them. Well, I'm sure by now you're going to be seeing numbers everywhere and including it throughout your whole day. Speak to you again soon. Bye.